What's up, peeps? Nick Battle, a.k.a. Nino's Corner, man. Looks like Steve Sarkeesian, or Steve Sarkeesian from the Texas Longhorns has finished off his coaching staff. Looks like he got his last coach, which is the linebackers coach, which is Jeff Choate. He was the head coach at Montana State for the last four years, actually like the last five years. But let's see how this guy actually fits in here to the program here at Texas. So if I go down just a brief, just a small synopsis of his career, from, from 2006 to 2011, he was a coach at Boise State. All right. So from 2006 to 2008, he was the running backs coach. 2009 to 2011, he was the linebackers coach. So he has experience in coaching linebackers. During that time frame, guys, that Boise State team was 73 and 6. So if you guys remember those those good teams that beat TCU, I think in a couple Fiesta Bowls, um, they finished fourth and fifth in the AP polls. You know, like during during those uh, years, they had a bunch of teams that like went you know undefeated. Some only lost one game. I think they only lost three games. Um, in one season so one season was half of their whole losses for that time period you know for that six-year time period half their losses was in one season and i think they went like 10 and 3 that year but in saying all this guys jeff choate what are we getting with coach with, with with coach jeff choate we're getting a guy who is um, somebody who is, is experienced not only on the offensive side of the ball because he was a running backs coach at Boise, but also on the defensive side of the ball. He was a linebacker coach at Boise. He left there, did a brief stint as a linebacker coach at Washington State, um, and then left there for the next year in 2013 um, to be the linebackers coach in Florida. And also, I think the D.C. at a UTIP. So I think he split time on, on those also. Uh, leaves there, guys, comes back comes back to meet up with Coach PK, who he actually worked for in Boise State. And, and guys, if you don't know who Coach PK is, that is uh, Pete Kwiatkowski, who is the defensive coordinator at the University of Texas right now. So Jeff Choate was the linebackers coach at Boise underneath Coach PK. All right. So Coach PK calls him back. 2014 and 2015 to come be the defensive line coach at Washington. And this is when that defense like really took off. Uh, so, so 2014, um, like I said, Choate was the was the uh, the uh, line coach on the defensive side of the ball. And during that time frame, he had draft picks. They had their best seasons as a collegiate player. He had Danny Shelton, who's the first round pick for the Browns. And in, in uh, let's say 2014, he had 94 tackles, 17 tackles for loss, and nine sacks. Then he had Hiola. Hi Kakaya, who was the linebacker slash defensive lineman uh, for them, who had 72 uh, tackles, 25 tackles for loss, and 19 sacks. He was a second-round pick for the Saints. And the third-best player on that defense, or not the third-best, but the third-best lineman on that defense was a guy named Andrew Hudson. 77 tackles, 15 and a half tackles for loss, 10 and a half sacks. So his defensive line produced very well. And that's what makes me so happy about this pick because two of those guys were like stand-up defensive linemen slash outside linebackers, which linebackers is what Choate is going to coach here at Texas. Um, so those guys brought some pressure. They get pressure off the edge and they're going to cause some havoc and wreck some havoc. So I'm very excited about the pick because we're getting a guy who was a head coach. Um, you know, even though it was at, at a, a FCS school, it was still a head coaching job. And um, he actually kind of turned that, uh, that uh, team around. So he was at Montana State. Um, be a head coach from 2016 to 2020. And uh, let's see, I think the year previous, they went five and six. The first year he goes there, they go four and seven, but he gets that team up in uh, 2019 to go up to 11 and four. So good coach all around. I think it's going to be a good pick. He has ties, uh, you know, with Coach PK. And I think that's why Coach PK brought him in. And so it's, it's going to be a good thing to see. I can't wait to see this staff finalized and put together in the field. And I can't wait for spring ball. But on that note, guys, we're going to head out. Like I always end these things. Do you. Don't be afraid to fail. I'll grow your environment. Understand your brilliance. Uh, welcome, uh, Coach Coat, to the Longhorns, man. Hook them. Uh, I'm out. Do you.